what is robot and robotics what works are suitable for robots and how robots are different from human beings i will try to answer these questions here in the robotics revolution hi i'm sanjeev and you all are welcome to my channel first what is robotics robotics is the branch of technology that deals with the design construction operation and application of robots we can classify robots in terms of their similarity to humans there are in fact five types of robot an automation is a kind of robot which is capable of operating independently let's say it can perform the operation independently uh, like uh, a cuckoo clock like a clothes dryer Sim similarly another kind of robot is a flexible machine a flexible machine is a robot that can be programmed as the need arises let's take an example for instance a welding robot in the factory uh, can be programmed to participate in welding but the same robot can be uh, programmed to participate in other production operations such as lifting so depending on the need it is quite flexible to take different operations similarly third kind of robot is a mobile robot a mobile robot is a flexible machine which is capable of moving freely in its own environment likewise fourth type is android or humanoid android or humanoid is a robot and its structure is quite similar to the structure of human beings finally a cyborg a cyborg is a humanoid with organic structures and cyborgs are similar to human beings in terms of their physiological structures too so why robots after all what is the significance of robots as you can see robots are gaining a popularity but why and we can answer this question why robots into four ways first robots are suitable to do the jobs that require great strength or pose threat for example robots are particularly useful in auto manufacturing industry where the parts of automobiles are very heavy uh, and robots with its strength can perform that work not only that the parts of automobiles also can be welded together easily by robots a welding tool when it is used by human worker it's very very difficult to operate because it is very heavy in terms of its weight as well as it is difficult to handle but robots can handle such a uh, welding tool very very easily uh, likewise a mechanical superman that is a robot it can also take the heavy items the heavy components between work station or in a factory Uh, it can easily carry those kind of heavy equipments similarly spray painting is another task which is very very suitable for robots robots can do the spray task and the reason is robots do not need to breath when human beings are affected by the poisonous fumes robots are not therefore robots are better at this task because they can do those work uh, which man finds very dangerous to do likewise third in this very list of useful jobs for robot is the assembly of electronic parts robots are perfect in installing chips in printed circuit boards because they have the capacity which men do not have that means when a robot is properly programmed it can put the chip in the right place because of the program robot has automatic accuracy which is very very important as it minimizes the error and likewise the fourth task for which robots are very suitable are science projects uh one of the uh, science project for which robots can be used is 
underwater exploration research. It is a job that can be, you know, very difficult or dangerous for human beings, but robot can do it very easily. Likewise, nuclear reactor stations, at this very place also robot can be used because robots are not affected by reactive radiations. Likewise, robot also can be used at space projects. Take this example. This is the Curiosity rover. It was used by the scientists on Mars. You can see the camera which was attached to it. Uh, because of this uh, fitted cameras, it could take the pictures around. And not only that, uh, because of the sensing devices, it could also detect other things. So this kind of uh, robots are very, very useful in space projects. What about the current practice? In fact, scientists are trying their level best to expand the range of robotic application in today's world. And the industrial arm is a classic example. In fact, scientists are trying to develop the model robots to imitate the barbitrate spine of a snake so that it can paint the interior of automobiles with a very flexibility. Likewise, they are also trying to develop the robots having the structure and movement of an elephant trunk so that it is capable of lifting heavy objects. Likewise, scientists are also trying their level best to develop the robots with the flexibility of an octopus, uh, which uh, can hold the fragile objects with its octopus-like tentacles with uniform and gentle pressure. Uh, development is being made in this very field too. Now, finally, this is the most important section because from here, students are generally asked the question exam in examination. What are, the types, what are the types of jobs which are suitable for robots and what are the types of jobs done by human beings? Let's begin with robots. Robots uh, are very good at welding because robots can easily handle the machines which are very, very heavy and which are very hard to handle for human beings. Likewise. Another job which is suitable for a robot is spray painting because as earlier said, robots don't need to breathe and robots are not affected by poisonous fumes. Likewise, robots are also very good at assembling components. Robots, once they are programmed, they have automatic accuracy. With that very extreme accuracy, robot can repeat the actions without any error. Likewise, Robot also can carry heavy loads with their physical strength. And robot also can be used for scientific projects such as space projects, nuclear reactor stations, and underwater exploration research because robot can work in conditions which are either dangerous or impossible for human beings. On the other hand, man, one of the suitable jobs for man is the work of creativity and intelligence because man has that originality, intelligence, and creativity. Likewise, the work related to perception and manipulation is also suitable for human beings. Human beings look at the situation and they change themselves, they manipulate themselves as per the need of the situation. Uh, likewise, uh, another job suitable for human being is the job of social intelligence, such as social perceptiveness, negotiation, persuasion, uh, caring for others. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Thanks for watching.